Okay, folks, today, quick appetizer, fried raviolis. Mm -hmm. Ash, you gonna give me a hand here, honey? Yeah. Crack the egg. No shells, I don't want any shells in there. Got a girl, into the sink. Crack your egg, egg we're gonna... Okay, that's cool. Let's set our little station up here, Ash. We got our egg, our breadcrumbs, then our finished plate over here. Then we're gonna get them in the fryer later. And then we're gonna dunk them in our salsa. Nice. Very simple, folks. I try not to use homemade um, raviolis for this because they tend to fall apart. Uh, so just use the bag ones if you want. Nice, quick, easy. Okay, these are frozen. Um, what I like to do is put some on the plate, the amount that I'm going to use. Just whack them in the microwave for about 30 seconds. That'll just get the centers warm, get them ready to fry. Then we're going to dip them in our egg, bread crumb them, get them on the fryer. Let's rock and roll. Got it, Ash? Let's uh, just me and Ash gonna have a little appetizer here, a quick little appetizer. So we're gonna have about a little three each, Ash, you think, honey? Yeah. Okay, man, I'm a little hungry, so I might have an extra one. Okay, we're just gonna do a small little batch here. Fry them up. Okay, get them on the plate here. And we'll uh, throw these in the microwave for a second here, Ash. Uh, I'd say about 30 seconds in the microwave. And uh, then we'll bring them back over here, get them in the egg. See the egg over here, Ash? Yep. I'm just going to mix up our egg. Now uh, we're going to give them a quick dunk in the egg into our uh, Italian seasoned crumbs over here. This is not specially treated with, uh, you know, cheese, pepper, or anything. Just plain bread crumbs, Italian seasoned. I don't go crazy with these things because it's, you know, it's just a quick uh, appetizer. So you don't have to put the extra cheese and all that in it if you don't want to. You can if you want, but... It's not a big deal. All right, so these are coming out of the microwave. We're ready to roll ash, 30 seconds. The room temperature to the touch now. We're just gonna dunk them in our rack here. And we're gonna just give it a quick breading. Okay. Okay, see that lonely little guy there? Okay, just give him a little pat. A little patsy, then set him on your finished plate over here. All right, we'll get these all ready, Ash, okay, honey? We'll get these all egged up and batter it up and we'll meet you at the fryer later in a minute. Rock and roll. All right, cut Ash. Okay, Ash, get those done there. Give them a little pat, right? Yep. Don't want to be too rough with them because the cheese is going to start coming out. Right, Ash? Yeah. Yeah, these are good, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Quick little treat. You know, if you got some friends over, you can make a quick little appetizer. I mean, you can make these in about three, four minutes. You can have these things frying. Fine on the stove, just get a little Mexican salsa, hot, mild, whatever you've got choice. You can make your own salsa. I usually like to make my own, but this is quick. I'm using it right from the jar tonight. So, uh, not a big project here. Just one, two, three, bing, bang, boom, done. Show you how we rock ash, right? Yep. Nice. Right on, okay. Let's head over to the fryer later, Ash. Those are good. Okay, Ash, uh, we, cut, we just have regular olive oil here, so you don't want it too high. Make sure it's medium. You don't want to burn it. We're gonna, we don't want to cook them too fast. Cook them kind of slow. Hold on. I just Let me grab a little quick drink here. Okay. What do we do with this, Ash? This is called what? That's called a sacrificial crumb, right, Ash? Yeah. When that starts to fry, what does that mean? You have to put them on. You have to put them on, right. That means we're ready to fry, right? Yeah. Okay, so. Ashley, see how quick they're cooking, Ash? Yeah. Okay, it only takes like 30 seconds a side and they're done. Okay, look at them getting nice and brown. Okay. Those bad boys are done, nice. Let them drain for a minute. And we're ready to rock and roll. Can you see this honey over here? Yeah. Shut your heat down. Okay. Get those plated up nice. Okay, let's give them a try, Ash, huh? Yep. Let's, let's come over here and try them out. Those are looking good. Want to try one, hun? Mm hmm. Grab your plate. Okay, rock and roll, baby. Here, which one do you want, Ash? That one? How much sauce do you want on? Want some sauce on top? Right on top? Um, or on the side? Okay. 
That's gonna just go for his right straight up. Right on there, like that. Let's give that a shot. Cool. Mmm. Nice little appetizer. Give it a shot, folks. Rock and roll, baby. How is it, Ash? Great. Don't sound so, don't sound so excited, honey. Quick little appetizer, folks. Enjoy. This was the first guy that I subscribed to, Papercut777. Right there, get your teas, go to his channel, uh, 18 and over. Uh, great cook, funny, lots of booze, drinking, fun, uh, great stuff, great stuff. Cook to Cook with a K at the bottom of my channel, another great cook. Halsey's Kitchen, hope you're feeling better, Halsey. There's a bunch of folks on my channel. Just look in the lower left corner of my page. Cash Cooks, there's a bunch of guys there. Great cooks, great chefs, rock and roll folks. Quick little shout out, haven't done one. Thanks to the subscribers. And uh, also, this is really not, I was going to do a tribute uh, video to the cut man, but this is basically just a quick shout out. Uh, the next, maybe next week, next week or two, I'm going to do that one. That'll be the first thing that I uh, was checking out on his channel. So we'll check that out next week, week or two. And uh, that's it. Rock and roll, baby. Enjoy, folks.